One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. Until then, there must be no regrets, no tears, no anxieties. Just go forward in all your beliefs and prove to me that I am not mistaken in mine. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, my dear. You can't understand being so ancient. Eh? I mean old. Oh. You probably can't remember your family. Oh, yes, I can when I want to. And that's the point, really. I have to really want to, to bring them back in front of my eyes. The rest of the time, they, they sleep in my mind, and I forget. And so will you. Oh, yes, you will. You'll find there's so much else to think about and to remember. Our lives are different to anybody else's. That's the exciting thing. Nobody in the universe can do what we're doing. We must get some sleep and let this poor old man stay awake. He's not even listening. He's turned the sound off. Well, that's not very nice, is it? We've got to make him listen. It's our only chance of stopping him. You're not thinking of going out there, are you? No. Not if I can help it. Well, what are you going to do, then? If he's turned his sound receiver off, I must make myself heard without it. If the Thraskin puts his fingers in his ears, it is polite to shout. That's an old Venusian proverb. Well, what's Thraskin? Thraskin? Oh, it's an archaic word. Seldom used since the 25th dynasty. The modern equivalent is plinge. What does plinge mean? Oh, for heaven's sake, Joe, I've just told you. It means Thraskin. Of course. I'm the doctor. No, doctor. I'm the doctor, and I say that you're not fit. You may be a doctor, but I'm the doctor. The definite article, you might say. Look here, doctor. You're not fit. Not you... fit. Not fit. Of course I'm fit. All systems go. What's your name? Romana Dvaratna Lunda. By the time I've called that out, you could be dead. I'll call you Romana. I don't like Romana. It's either Romana or Fred. All right, call me Fred. Good. Come on, Romana. Very well, Chancellor Flavia. You will return to Gallifrey immediately and summon the High Council. You have full deputy powers until I return. I shall travel in my TARDIS. Oh, but Doctor... You will address me by my proper title. I am President, am I not? You will obey my commands into the TARDIS. You will escort Chancellor Flavia back to her duties. Well, you're off to Gallifrey to be President. I suppose your time lord subjects will find a TARDIS that really works and get us both home. Who said anything about Gallifrey? You told Chancellor Flavia. I Fagan. told her she had full powers until I return. You're not going back. You know, sometimes, Tegan, you take my breath away. <laughs> uh, won't the time lords be very angry? Furious. You mean you're deliberately choosing to go on the run from your own people in a rackety old TARDIS? Why not? After all, that's how it all started. Travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate, and rotten to the core. Power mad conspirators, Daleks, Tarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. Nice nap. Now, down to business. I'm a bit worried about the temple flicker in Sector 13. There's a Bicentino refit of the TARDIS to book in. I must just pop over to Center I-7, and then perhaps a quick holiday. Right, that all seems quite clear. Just three small points. Where am I? Who am I? And who are you? Ace, where do you think you're going? Perivale. Ah, yes, but by which route? The direct route with glitz or the scenic route? Well... Do you fancy a quick trip round the Twelve Galaxies and then back to Perivale in time for tea? Ace! But there are three rules. One, I'm in charge. Whatever you say, Professor. Two, I'm not the Professor. I'm the Doctor. Whatever you want. And the third? Well, I'll think up the third by the time we get back to Perivale. I'm with my father. We're lying back in the grass. It's a warm Gallifreyan night. Gallifreyan? Gallifrey! Yes, this must be where I live. Now, where is that? I've never heard of it. What do you remember? A meteor storm that the sky above us was dancing with lights. 
Purple, green, brilliant yellow, yes! What? These shoes! They fit perfectly. Yes. Four hundred years. Sorry? But at a software level, they're all the same device, aren't they? Same software, different case. Yeah. So? So, it would take centuries for the screwdriver to calculate how to disintegrate the door. Scanning the door, implanting the calculation as a permanent subroutine in the software architecture. And if you really are me, with your sand shoes and your dicky bow, and that screwdriver is still mine, that calculation is still going on. Really, though, Doctor, tell me, who are you? Do you know, like we were saying, about the Earth revolving? It's like when you're a kid. The first time they tell you that the world's turning and you just can't quite believe it because everything looks like it's standing still. I can feel it. The turn of the Earth. The ground beneath our feet is spinning at a thousand miles an hour and the entire planet is hurtling around the sun at 67,000 miles an hour, and I can feel it. We're falling through space, you and me, clinging to the skin of this tiny little world, and if we let go, that's who I am. Now, first things first, be honest. How do I look? Um, different. Good different or bad different? Just different. Am I ginger? No, you're just sort of brown. Oh, I wanted to be ginger. I've never been ginger. And you, Rose Tyler, fell out good you were. You gave up on me. Oh, that's rude. That's what man I am now. Am I rude? Rude and not ginger. And who the hell are you anyway? I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey, the constellation of Casterbaris. I'm 903 years old, and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all six billion people on the planet below. You got a problem with that? No. In that case... Al Olsey! Stonehenge! Who takes the Pandora car, takes the universe! But bad news, everyone! Cos guess who? Ha! It's sent you lot, you're all whizzing about. It's really very distracting. Could you all just stay still a minute? Because I am talking! Now, the question of the hour is, who's got Pandora car? Answer, I do. Next question, who's coming to take it from me? Come on! Look at me! No plan, no backup, no weapons worth a damn. Oh, and something else I don't have. Anything to lose. So, if you're sitting up there in your silly little spaceship with all your silly little guns, and you've got any plans on taking the Pandorica tonight, just remember who's standing in your way. Remember, every black day I ever stopped you. And then, and then, do the smart thing. Let somebody else try first. You've redecorated? Yes. I don't like it. I'm not entirely convinced myself. I think there should be more round things on the walls. I used to have a lot of round things. I wonder where I put them. I'm the Doctor. I've lived for over 2,000 years, and not all of them were good. I've made many mistakes, and it's about time that I did something about that.